Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the menstrual cycle, and here we have a uterus. A uterus and the two ovaries. So here is the uterus, and here is the ovary. Here's the fimbrae, and that's where the egg goes into the, the fallopian tube. Why the ovary is not directly connected to the egg is unknown. Interesting why it has the fimbrae that sort of like sucks the egg in. That's the way it is. So now let's, let's, so let's go to the ovary, cross section of the ovary, and let's take a look at what's going on in the menstrual cycle. Okay, so let's zoom in over here and let's look at the two phases of the menstrual cycle. The follicular phase and the luteal phase. So the follicular phase, it says over here, is on average zero, the first 0 to 14 days of the cycle, although that can vary. It's the luteal phase, it's more set. So on average, well, it's always 14 days, but that would mean that since it, ovulation is on day 15, so the luteal phase is from day 15 to day 28. But if follicular phase is 0 to 15 days, then the luteal phase would be 16 to 29. Okay? So now let's describe what's going on in the follicular phase and the luteal phase. So, and again, the reason why it's called the follicular, we'll explain why it's called the follicular and luteal phase. Hypothalamus releases GnRH, and that has a stimulates the anterior pituitary to release FSH and LH. And in our scene, FSH is generated by the fish, FSH for fish over here, and that tells the follicle to grow. And we see the follicle over here growing. That's because the FSH is telling the follicle to grow. That's the job of FSH. LH, luteinizing hormone, repre luteinizing hormone, represented by this kind of luge. If you don't know what a luge is, don't worry. It's sort of like a sled. This guy on a luge over here. He is basically the, in charge of a few things, but one of them being to tell the follicle to punch out that egg, to, to get out the egg. And that's why we see the luteinizing hormone sort of punching this follicle, once it's at, at the dominant follicle, big enough, and it tells it to punch out the egg, to go to the fallopian tube. So it's interesting. The follicle is actually tremendous. I mean, obviously it's not this big, but it's, it be tw it's the dominant follicle is about 20 millimeters when it reaches its full size, which is tr tr huge. Anyway, so let's describe what's going on in more depth now. So, follicular phase. That's the first 14 days on average. So, what happens is the follicle secretes estrogen. Estrogen, here, if you look closely, this follicle guy is releasing these ostriches at the gym. Ostrich on a treadmill. Can we see that? The ostrich at the treadmill on a gym. That's for estrogen. Right, you see that? He's ostrich at the gym. That's estrogen. Estrogen is important. Actually has a negative effect on the production of FSH, negative feedback on FSH. That's why FSH levels go down. FSH levels go down. So that's, but estrogen is also very important for the growth, um, grind, growing the lining of the uterus and for increasing prolactin. That's why the breasts grow during this phase. The uterus grows again and the tubes grow. So that's estrogen is really important. And other functions. In a different video, we'll talk more about estrogen. But that's follicular phase. Estrogen is the main thing being produced. Let's change the lighting here for a second. As the follicle glows, it produces more and more estrogen. More estrogen. And you see this estrogen over here, eventually there's a, when there's enough estrogen, there's a lot of ostrich at the gym, the LH, there's an LH surge. And this guy, there's a huge increase in LH, and that's what pops, that's what, that's eventually leads to the, um, follicle releasing the ovu ovulation. That's ovulation right here. That's ovulation. Okay? So that is the basically the follicular phase. So then the egg goes into the fallopian tube and it's only viable for a day or two. That's why fertilization can only happen in the, you know, in a day or two. That's when it happens. Um, and what we're talking about the regular menstrual cycle where there's no fertilization and so the egg disintegrates. And the corpus luteum forms, that again, that happens even when there is pregnancy, but we'll explain what, what's not, what does not happen during, when there's pregnancy. We're describing the normal situation. So here's the corpus luteum. So the corpus luteum, the main thing that it secretes is progesterone. It secretes progesterone, that's why you have this projector, representing progesterone. The projector for progesterone. And there's a projector over here. And that also has important function, some important functions, which is, we won't describe here. Important, again, also for the uterus, for the uh, maintaining the endometrium to support implantation. Um, but since we're don't, we don't need the corpus luteum, it disintegrates into the corpus albicans. It's basically due to a breakdown due to macrophage. Macrophage and it turns into the corpus albicans, which it's a basically a, the corpus albicans is basically a mask of scar tissue. And since we no longer have the corpus luteum, progesterone goes down and, and estrogen goes down. And since those things supported the uterus, the uterus is going to break down. It's the sloughs off. And that's what leads to menses. There's bleeding. And uh, that's basically it of the, for the menstrual cycle. We have uh, the follicular phase, which is 0 to 14 days. And there's ovulation on day 15. 
and then there's luteal phase. And in a different video, we'll discuss what happens in pregnancy. In pregnancy, basically, the um, corpus luteum is protected. It's protected, the corpus luteum, and you can continue making the progesterone. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If there's a way you can make this better or more clear, please let us know. Okay, hope you enjoyed.